good morning folks. I want to chat to you about how we're going to use this machine um, up in NICU. Um, as standard you will have your machine attached to an adult set of pads and that's primarily to facilitate the machine checking um, every morning at 8 o'clock so staff just need to do a quick visual check. If you do need to bring this machine to the patient's bedside in NICU, okay, one of the first things that you need to do is change your adult pads. Okay, So you're going to take your pads apart just as you normally would and you're going to get neonatal pads. Your neonatal pads come in a pack like that. Again, this should be sealed, okay? So you're opening a fresh set of pads for each cardiac arrest. And whenever you open, or cardioversion probably more likely to be fair, so when you open up your pads, your pads will come like that, okay? Now, there is pictures telling you where to put the pads on, okay? One says right clavicle, left-hand side cardiac apex, but to be honest with you, it'd be hard pushed to get those pads on on a wee tiny neonate. The best way where you're going to be putting these pads on is going to be front and back, okay? So literally your AP position. So one pad is going to go there, and the other pad is going to go back. Mirror image of that at the back. So the pads are going to go on like so. Key thing then here is then you need to attach this up to your adapter at the very end okay so with this okay the white cable is going to go into that long part of the red bit and it's going to click in place like so and that's how your neonatal pads attach up so when you've got your pads attached to your neonate you're going to turn your machine on the machine as we've shown you earlier defaults automatically to AED so what you need to quickly do is hit your and manual clear. mode button down there on the left hand side hit the soft key and that activates okay our manual functions okay so we're going to be using it in manual mode for neonates and paediatrics so just to take you briefly through okay what you can see in manual mode so again rhythm on screen okay with a couple of buttons down here and here so these red ones are really primarily for cardiac arrest not something that we use that frequently to be fair within neonates but it's just to make sure that you're aware of that's my energy select. The machine defaults to adult mode, which is 200 joules. So if we did have to shock, okay, then obviously then you would be adjusting and pressing that energy select way down, okay. And we do go down as far as one joule at the very bottom, okay. One, okay. That would be your charge button, okay, and that would be your shock button should you need to use it, okay. These buttons down here lead. Uh, well, we have we talked about earlier on the ability to monitor via three leads. The machine will automatically default to pads here. Should you want to change that, it's just a matter of hitting that lead button. You've got the options of lead one, two, three, or then back to pads. Size, if you want to change the amplitude, the size of your complex, this is hitting that. Your alarm suspend, well your machines are automatically, the alarms are turned off initially, but if you want to action and turn them on, it's hitting that button. And then I suppose this one's a quite an important button as you record. So it's hitting record and you get your strip, okay your rhythm and if you hit that again it turns it off okay some of our machines also will have uh, the option of pacing so if we bring that around that just opens our pacing function should be required okay from a neonatal perspective I suppose the key button that we want to make sure that you guys are aware of okay is your synchronized cardio version because that's the one that you're probably going to be using most frequently so for synchronized cardio version key thing that you need to make sure that you do is you hit make sure your sync button is on so down in the right hand corner, it's saying sync on and off. If you hit that soft key underneath it, that actions it. So you'll see a couple of things. It'll say sync on screen. You'll see little arrows marking your aura wave because that's when we want to actually make sure the heart, okay, receives the electricity, okay. And then you're going to use it as you would do manually. So select your energy. So let's say one joule for this one. Then what you'll do is you'll charge. Okay, if I press this in error, you can notice your disarm button is the soft key down there when it's fully charged up here and then just hold your shock button in a fraction longer than you normally would with your for routine cardio, um, cardio version because the machine's waiting to sense to when to actually give that shock. The default position here is that the sync will stay on at all times. So if I need to adjust that, okay, that stays there. Obviously, if this baby or child arrests, then just make sure you deactivate that. So we've spoken about using the defib with adult pads. Uh, we have paediatric pads. They come and they attach up just like the adult pads do. Okay, um, And paediatric pads we would use from the age of not up to eight. Then from eight above then you would use your adult pads. So again, as before, there's a lovely yellow sticker. If you pull that apart, you'll have your two sets of pads on the inside. Okay, They come pre-attached. 
Again, there's pictures on the pads telling you where they need to go. Okay, so you can't go wrong. So that lovely blue one, okay, it will go on the front of the chest, on the other one, okay, on the back of the chest, so your AP position, okay. And again, in for areas that look after kids, so for sick children, these pads will be pre-connected and ready to go.